makes his way to the cage at this time, representing Submission Boxing Academy, Jonathan Harris. Jonathan Harris from Paleland, Texas, where there are no pigs. Deep in the hearts of Texas. Bum, 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 bum. Seven week training camp for Jonathan Harris had an opponent change. So he aims on capitalizing on Talavera not being prepared here tonight. The win over John Marlborough last time out before that, a loss to Mike Bronzoulis. The hold wins on, over on. Kenneth Fuller and Tony Concepcion. Let me take him out first. This man here has the unofficial yeah, knockout effort. world record, the fastest ever time in mixed martial arts. As an amateur, he knocked out an opponent in 3.6 seconds with an overhand right. Last year here at Legacy, he knocked out Kenneth Fuller in what is officially listed at five seconds, though if you watch it, it was more like two seconds. The elder is Talavera. The height advantage goes to Talavera. The weight goes to Jonathan Harris. And a two and a half reach advantage goes the way of Ricardo Talavera. Jonathan Harris knows how to finish fights. He knows how to finish them quickly. Can he get another record scoring knockout with that overhand right? Let's throw it up again to Colin to get this one underway. Our third fight of the evening is brought to us by the Texas National Guard and is scheduled for three rounds in the Legacy Welterweight Division. Introducing first on my right, fighting out of the Boner Beer Blue Corner. He stands six feet tall, his official weight 167 pounds. A submission expert with a professional record of two wins versus two defeats. Accepting this fight with less than one week's notice, fighting out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Ricardo, the Hitman Talavera. And across the cage on my left, finding now the mo to gocom red corner. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, his official weight 170 and 1 half pounds. This hard-hitting brawler is boasting a professional record of five wins against a lone defeat. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Jonathan, the Hulk Harris. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action, Patrick Patlin. All right, gentlemen, we already went over the rules meeting in the back, so you know what's expected of you. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to protect yourselves at all times, obey my commands at all times. That understood. So, touch gloves, go back to the corner. Referee, final instructions. Talavera comes in at minus 125. Harris at minus 105. As I said earlier, two quick KOs on the record of Harris. One in five seconds, one in 3.6 seconds. They went viral on the internet, on YouTube. They have almost half a million views between them. Michael Chavello, El Wapo, bus route with you. Don't look at the gloves, though, because right, the guy in the red corner has blue gloves and vice versa. <laughs> Harris went for the overhand, right, right, as predicted, okay. and Talavera gets on top inside half guard. This is not where Harris wants the fight. He wants it on nope. its feet. Talavera will like it on the ground, however. Yeah, Talavera wants to be on the top. You know, especially with taking the fight on short notice. This is a great position. You're not stressed. Your core is not stressed. You can breathe nice and relaxed. Well, actually, not super relaxed, but it's always better than being on the bottom. Whoop! Oh, right. he's got a hook in. Yes, he's got the hook in. He's not going to get shaken off. Talavera said he wanted a quick finish too, and he's looking for it here via Rhea Naked Choke with only less than a minute down in the first round. Yeah, he's got to put that left hook in. It's very dangerous. Either way, he almost lost control here already. Now he's going to put them both in. You see, again, he's slipping up because he didn't have that hook in. Talavera pressing Harris against the cage now. Has an underhook off that right arm. Harris turns him around, launches a knee nicely done to the lower rib cage. They tie up in front of our commentary position. Talavera looking again for a takedown. You know, but it, it, it starts to get risky. You don't want to do too many takedowns if you're not in the greatest shape. Two nice right hands on the inside uh -oh. there from Harris. Can guilty. he set up a guillotine now? Jonathan is going for the guilty, but he got a great defense here by Talavera. He's going for the single. Can he take it to the ground? No, he cannot. And Talavera walks him back against the cage. Gutsy opening round between these two men. Both with four fights to their credit, two and two Talavera, three and one Jonathan Harris. Jonathan Harris did a great job momentarily now because now he's back to put Talavera against the fence, but then he gave it up. Wants to break off here, Harris. See if he can work that lead hook, the overhand right. His two specialties. 
Nice body shot there from Ooh. the plexus. And he aims with it, which is a great thing to do. A lot of guys don't aim. Oh, nice knee there to the midsection. Solid knee from Talavera. Good short right hand side of the jaw from Jonathan Harris. Swinging outside knee to the thigh from Talavera. The good thing about the knee is that he didn't throw his hips in. A lot of people teach you to throw hip, a, a knee by throwing your hips in, but you close with the distance. It's the dumbest thing you can do. You, know, you, you, you use, just use your hip flexor. Harris goes to the right hand, locks him up, throws a knee, and then one to the jawline just grazes the stubble of Talavera. Talavera dropping down, latching onto a single on that left leg. And oh. they go to canvas. Harris was looking there for a Kimura, but he let it go. Now on top, of course, we got Talavera and half guard. See what he's going to do with it. If he's going to try to escape, go to mount or to side mount. You know, not always stay in the, in the half guard. There's a lot of stuff you can do nowadays from half guard. You know, arm bars. He's already looking for it now. Kimura, there we go. See? Talavera said he wanted to finish it in the first round. We've got one minute 55 remaining. Ooh. Looking for a Kimura on the right arm here of Harris. Now, Jonathan Harris is allowed to grab his own pants to defend this armbar, this, this Kimura. The guys go, oh, this is an armbar. Yeah, it is an armbar. It's not a straight armbar, it's an armbar. He's out of there inside the full guard, the close guard now of Talavera, trying to posture up. Talavera keeping a hand around the back of the neck, controlling the posture of Harris. So Harris bangs away to the body, pounding the carcass on the left side. Well, I try, by the way, now to think about it, Kimura could all be a shoulder lock. I think it's more of a shoulder lock, actually. Throws oh, the leg up. Although Noguera broke his arm. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a nice discussion for us inside MMA. <laughs> One foot on hips here from Talavera on his back, the looking, Venezuela. Looking for a triangle choke here from the bottom. Watch, he's holding the hand. He's going to try to pass with his right leg. Oh, no, he lets it go. Still that right foot on the hip. It's always good for somebody when you strike, you can kick him away. Jonathan Does, Harris. There we go, triangle, you see, he was looking for it. Tries there the legs up again here, Talavera. Oh, he's out. No. Harris is enormously powerful, former bodybuilder and power lifter. He was a bodybuilder yep. at 160, used to squat 650 pounds, did lift 600 and a quarter, bench wow. four and a quarter. That's when he weighed 240. Oh, hammer fist strikes and drives the Whoa. elbow into the rib gun. He bar attempt here. Knee bar down by Talavera. Let's see if he can rip it up. No, nope. he lost it. Harris again, still did lift 500 these days. Nice elbow. Tried to lop his ear off Van Gogh style. Yeah, what did you say? Yeah, you said 425, right? It was the bench press that uh -huh. he did. <laughs> and again, another elbow problem. just beneath the ear. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. It's been a seesawing battle trying to lop that ear off. End of the first. We go to the towels. That was How did you see it? That's a great route. Going back and forth, really tough on both guys. You've got to wonder what sort of energy has been expended by Harris. He has been suffering the flu this past week. Earlier this week, he had a temperature of 101. He was originally scheduled to face Antonio Flores. And folks, don't forget, heart gift org providing life-saving surgery to repair congenital heart defects in children a lot of fighters are donating their purse including ricardo talavera donating his entire purse to heartgift.org here tonight you can text gift to 80077 that's 80077 to make a donation to heartgift.org so how cool is that yep. right there's mixed martial artists donating their entire purse we had one fighter on the undercard. We've got Ricardo Talavera here on the main card, donating their entire purse. Great to see mixed martial arts helping out in the community. As we are ready to rock and roll, second round of action. Jonathan Harris has been training with Kenny Johnson in California for the past two months at Higa Machado's gym in Redondo Beach, where he did the wrestling bolt system, the ranking system.